I'm Kate and this is my first YouTube video. Um, it's mainly a compilation of sewing, uh, some pastel blouses that I've made, some cooking, maybe a cute little cat as well, so I hope you enjoy! So I'm starting with interfacing the collar pieces, I make sure they're smooth and not warped, I give them a little press then put the interfacing collar piece underneath the chiffon one. Then placing the tea towel over both layers, this stops any tiny bits of glue from getting on the sole plate of the iron. I make sure not to drag the iron over the collar pieces or infusing them, just firmly press until I've covered the collar piece area entirely. Here I am with the blouses. I'm just making a note of how many colours of the bows and long ties I need to cut. Colours match the cuffs. So I keep all the smaller pieces and scraps of chiffon in clear bags with binder clips. I'm making the cute little bow ties for the blouses. I like to work with the tiniest pieces I have, finding the straight of grain on the piece, lining that up with the cutting mat grid to see if the pattern pieces can fit. As I go, the fabric pieces get bigger, but I really like to try and use the smaller pieces. I have these little curtain weights that I use all the time for keeping patterns from moving. I try to switch between using a rotary cutter and scissors, but for smaller pieces like these, the rotary cutter is good, but I really should get a new blade. So I'm unpicking one of the collar pieces because I wasn't happy with the first way I did it. Chiffon on the bias is just, uh, it's just a nightmare. It's too much, it's sensitive. So I have to make sure that it doesn't twist, and I want it to be nice and flat. So I'm re-sewing the collar binding on that one I picked. I remove the pins as I sew and continue to make sure that the bias is behaving. Here I'm making the long ties for the blouses. So once again I take the smallest pieces of fabric I have that could work, I measure the length to see if they're long enough. I make sure to double check the length of the finished tie on the sample blouse. I can get a bit paranoid about measurements, so it's good just to keep checking until I feel confident. It's the curtain weights again, which are great for cutting the narrow length. I like to line up that straight edge with the grid again, makes it nice and easy to cut. Here we go, all nice cut out pieces. Just folding the long ties and the bow tie pieces in half and sewing a 1cm seam allowance. This is probably the easiest part of sewing the blouse. I do find putting a pin at the beginning and the end of the seam helps with securing the stitch. Keeps the fabric nice and flat and just continuously sewing. Turn up the speed on my machine and just let it run through all nice. So I'm neatening up the seams that I just stitched before turning them through to the right side with the rouleau turner. Usually it's not too much trouble, but sometimes the hook on the end of the rouleau turner can slip. It's chiffon, you know, it's gonna happen. I just carefully use my scissors to drag it back through if I've messed up, try again. But when you get to about halfway, you can just turn the rest by hand. Time to pressity press press. I keep the seam side to the centre so that it doesn't show once I make it into the bow tie. I like to rub the seam uh, sort of with my fingers and nails, it always helps to get it a bit crisper. Want to make sure that there's no hidden little folds in them. Here are the main pieces of the bow ties sewn together in a loop, and I top stitch the long edges in the colour of the main body of the blouse. And the little knots for the bows are ready to go around the centre width of the bow. I'm top stitching the long edges of the long ties. I do enjoy doing this, but I have to admit it takes a lot more concentration and I really don't want to miss the edge of the fabric because then I'll have to stop, unpick and start again. So here we go, this is one of the finished blouses. So I did a bit of sewing on the collars and here's the bow tie. And then I just tied the long tie on the hanger so you can 
swip and swap with it depending on how you feel so uh, yeah i'm really proud of them uh, so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you around next time bye